Hey, and welcome to Home Reviews. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at a combo package I got here from Badger, and this is a 20 volt cordless trimmer and blower. And you can see here, I just got the box open. I'm anxious to get everything taken out of here, charged up, and see how it works. So if you guys like in-depth reviews where I demo products, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Everything's out of the box. This is what you get. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about each one of these. Then I'm gonna get these batteries charged up. We're gonna take it outside and just see how well it performs. So first of all, you get your blower right here and it comes with a battery and there's also a charger for the batteries. And then you have your weed eater right here and then you have the end to it, your guard, but it also has a wheel on it. And I've actually never had a weed eater that has um, a wheel on it. And the reason for this is so you can turn it sideways and you can do edging. So you can actually go along the edge of sidewalks or anything like that and just kind of roll it and it's gonna make a nice line cutting right along the edge of it. And then you got your handle here, which fits on uh, right here. And then your pole here, which you can loosen this part and it's going to extend to make it longer. Now inside the bag was also this, and it comes with a few tiny screws. Make sure you don't miss this. I almost missed this in the bag. You have a user manual for the line trimmer. You have a user manual for the uh, cordless blower. And then you also have uh, some information here on the rechargeable batteries. And of course, anytime you get anything that's rechargeable, it makes it nice because you don't have to deal with uh, gasoline or electric. But what I will say is that these are smaller batteries, but they are 20 volts. So normally what this means is that it's going to do a decent job, but these batteries aren't going to last for a really long time. So if you just have a little bit of stuff that needs done around your house, maybe around the edges of your house, your sidewalks, stuff like that, this is going to be ideal for it for both using uh, the blower and the line trimmer. Now throughout this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge up these and I'm going to see how long it lasts both in the blower and the trimmer as I'm working it outside. That way you guys have a better idea of whether it's going to work for what you need it for or not. And as always, if you're interested in this product yourself, I'll put the link below this video that will take you straight to it. So let me go ahead and get this charged up. We're going to get the attachments put on the line trimmer and we're going to see what it can do. Okay, so I wanted to show you as I'm putting this together here that you can see on the line trimmer, your battery's gonna go down here close to where the handle's at. And then I've already put this handle on, which is super easy to do. You just take that little knob off, you see there the gray knob, pull it out, stick the handle in, and put the handle back through it and tighten it up. And then I've already extended it so you can see um, it goes out pretty far actually. But what I wanted to show you that I really like about this is clear down at the end here, at the end, they already have string on it. You can see it's got a little bit of tape around it right here, but you can take this off and you can restring it. But it has on this side, this button and this button. And if you hold them in, it lets you tip this forward and back. So let me put my phone down and I'll show you. Okay, so you can see right now where it's straight up and down. And then if I push this, you can drop it. And so it can have different angles depending on uh, how you weed eat, maybe the difference uh, of your height. It just makes it easier at a different angle to use. Now this here, we're also gonna put on, and this is really easy. This is what the screws are for. You can see how there's three holes there. There's, it actually looks like there should be four, but to make sure you don't put it on wrong, you can see that there's two holes there. Mm -hmm. There's one there and there's one there. So they're going to line up when you put it on from that plate to make sure that you don't put it on wrong. So you can see there, I got it slid down over top the head of that and these shove all the way down. You can see the blue underneath there where it comes up and touches it. So this shoves down all the way over top of it and then you're gonna put each screw in those holes to secure it. So you'll see now I have a screw in here in here and in here. Now this top part, if you need to change it, you'll notice there's a button here you can push and there's one on the other side. So you push them in together and it lets you take this part off here, but you gotta be careful that the middle doesn't spring out on you because this is where your cord is at and it's wound up. You can see here, it shows you which way to wind the line, which is important. And once you wind it up, you simply stick it through the hole here and it's ready to go and you snap this cover back on it. 
You'll also notice there's two covers over these blades. This blade is to help make sure that this doesn't come out too far. So once it gets out to this point and it swings around, it's gonna hit these blades here and it's gonna cut it so it stays just at this length. And right now it's got these little uh, covers over it, but you can either take them off or they will wear off themselves as a string goes around and hits it. Now we just need to wait for the batteries to charge. You can see I've got one charging right now. The light's red, which means it's charging. So when this is full, I'm gonna put the other battery in and charge it. And then we're gonna hook it up to the blower right here, which is surprisingly light. It's actually very easy to manage and hold. And you can see here with this tube, if you need to take it off, you can just simply twist it and it comes right off. So if we grab a hold of this and twist it, you can see it pulls right off. And then if you need to clean it out, you can do that. And then you just put it back on here and twist and it's back on again. So when these batteries are charged, we're gonna get these hooked up and we're just gonna see what they can do. All right guys, so I got my um, little blower here, got the battery put in it. And what we're gonna do is clean off my sidewalk down through here, it's a mess. It's been a mess for a while. You can see it's got leaves and grass all over where you've been mowing. And so what I'm gonna do is just try to clean it off a little bit, see if this will get it all done. And then we're just gonna run this thing at full speed and see how long the battery will last. Okay, so overall this thing lasted about 15 minutes of runtime. So you can see it did a really good job of cleaning off the light stuff that I had on my sidewalk. I had, there was just a lot of uh, dust, a lot of leaves, a lot of grass, a lot of light dirt, and this worked perfect for it. Now, if you're trying to clean out something like a garage that has a lot heavier of dirt and chunks, um, I wouldn't recommend this one. But for light duty work, uh, this Badger 20 volt, I'm going to highly recommend it. You know, it's going to save you a lot of money in the long run if you don't need to have something much bigger just to do some light duty work. So next is the trimmer. I got it all set up here, battery attached. You can see down through here in between these plants how the grass is growing up a little bit. I'm going to work on clearing that out. And then also this little bank right here in front of my house. The grass is starting to grow up. And guys, remember, once again, just like with the uh, the blower, this trimmer is not made for heavy duty work and it's not made for long term work. It's made for just doing light jobs around the home. And so uh, we're gonna see if this is gonna be able to finish doing this job and this little bank. Now, unfortunately, I can't record and use a trimmer at the same time with this one. So I'm just gonna start trimming, then I'll record once I'm done. So I've been weeding for about 20 minutes. Uh, it is still running just as it did when I first started it, which is really surprising because I was able to get all of this down through here done. And I was also able to get this bank done and around that box down there, the cable box, electric box, whatever they have down there. But it's starting to rain, so um, I'm gonna have to put it up for now. But one thing that I just wanna stress, if you guys do pick this kit up, is that you saw how high this grass was on the bank when I first showed it to you. I don't recommend you buying this if your grass is any higher than that because this is just a light trimmer it's made for light duty work just like the blower is but the benefits of this is that it is battery so it's not as heavy it doesn't require gas it's not as loud so there's a lot of benefits to it if you don't necessarily need something bigger to use 
Overall, both of these products seem sturdy, they seem decent, and they get the job done. So if you're interested in picking something like this up, I'll put the link below the video and you can go check it out. Guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoy these types of reviews where I do in-depth studies and reviews of these products before you buy them, be sure to subscribe and I'll notify you each time I upload a new video. That's it for this one, guys. Have a great day.